All right, guys, so today I'm going to go over some of the tools that I think are just kind of very, very helpful if you have an 870, Remington 870 shotgun. Um, Remington 870s are classic shotguns. They are just workhorses, um, especially the older ones. Um, they do, they cover every role imaginable in the hunting world and self-defense world as well. So I'm going to go over a couple of the tools that I think, if you own one of these, are helpful for you to have. And that's just for general disassembly, general cleaning, um, and if you want to go into more in depth to that. So first I'll say the Kuhnhausen uh, Remington 870 and M model 1100-1187 shotgun shop manual. This thing is great. Um, it has all of your as detailed as you can possibly want to get into every single piece and part of this gun. This is, I'd say this is only really necessary if you want to get a full, full, uh, get to really understand the 870. Um, it has all kinds of schematics, everything like that, disassembly tips. But once again, that isn't necessary. That's more of a, if you really want to get to know your gun. Okay, so first, is the mag tube pliers here these pliers are great they got a padded jaw and that is meant to grab your mag tube cap and just to break it loose there with an 870 when you put that back on you really don't want it to be that tight so you can slide the barrel off and for them for most people this is going to kind of be your the level of uh, disassembly that you're going to do annually or after each hunting season. You might, like I said earlier, you might not need these, um, but if you have a stuck one, it's better than marring it up using vice grips. And wrapping a, a rag around vice grips is not the correct answer there. So the reason I have two of these out here is I wanted to show you guys how to access the mag tube spring so some of these springs can get weak and that might be a point of wear that you have to replace there's two different designs on it one is this one that kind of you push in and rotate and it comes out so that's the that's the one that i like i prefer this other one is just a sheet metal ring inside there this tool here that brown l sells is basically like a little corkscrew to help get that out. You put it in there. And you work that piece out. So this is the little spring. It's made out of spring steel anyways, but uh, yeah, that's a pain to pull out any other way. And that, once again, that gives you access to your your mag tube spring, your magazine spring, your follower, and your plug if you have to take it out for a different season or what have you. And then also this choke tube wrench. These are great. Uh, you should be breaking your choke tubes loose at least once a year. Uh, makes it really nice just pulling that out. And as you can see with this one, actually, got a little bit of corrosion in there but it's been covered in grease so it's kind of preserved a little bit and I'll clean that up uh, which goes to my next point grease I use two types of grease here one's from sage and sage and breaker and the other is just a standard all-weather high-tech grease made by shooters choice uh, either one of those you put a little dab on the threads and that'll save you from having a stuck choke tube or having to pay somebody to remove it professionally because it was in there when you put these choke tubes in, you don't have to, that wrench really shouldn't, how do I put this? You don't want to crank down on these threads. The threads are very, very fine and you could damage it at that point. So I just kind of go snug. And then the last thing is the recoil pad screwdriver bit for the magnet tip set. Now, I use it on a, a ratchet handle this is an older Brownells one. I don't know if they still sell this, but where this comes into play is if you're going to remove the buttstock in an 870, you have to remove the recoil pad. It's a Phillips head screw, 
but the this screw bit screw head is turned down so it can fit in there and won't destroy the pad if i were going to pull that out right now i would put dawn dish soap on there or some sort of wax so that you don't have any friction tears in that recoil pad and you keep it nice and clean but one of the things that you can do to this too to make it even better is polish this bit up and that'll uh reduce that chance even more but i hope this helps you guys and actually as i'm flipping my 870 over a bunch of sticks are falling out of it from this turkey season but uh, if you guys have any other tools or tips that you think might be helpful uh please put them in the comments because uh, i'd like to see it first off and i'm sure everyone else would as well so thank you